All right, so we're gonna install the Active Auto Works uh, resonated equal length mid pipe on the M2CS. So it's a pretty simple install. It'll go pretty quickly. So basically you're gonna pull the nuts off of these studs where the uh, current mid pipe uh, meets the down pipes. A couple of hangers, pull this brace off and then we'll get the pipe stand up here. I'll support the back section and then there's a couple of bolts that hold the, the rear section on as well as these. We'll drop the, the whole system out and then we end up having to cut the stock rear section off of the stock mid pipe. Um, one's like an inch and a half from this well. The other one's like six and a half inches. We'll get that cut, put the, uh, put the active mid pipe in and then these two should marry together. So in theory it should be pretty easy quick install. I've done a couple so it should be fast. So that's what we're gonna do. You can do the headers Mike. I, think. I can do the headers, I can do this. <laughs> yeah, this is like, this is like we didn't even do anything today. All right. Yeah, yep. All right, and all the bolts I can actually get to, look at that, they're right, like right there. Yeah, this is good stuff Mike, good stuff. Yeah, I say that now and then something will happen. So, so I kinda took the liberty of getting tools that I saw we needed, which is an 11 millimeter. This is for the, uh, for the uh, flange to downpipe. Uh, 13 millimeter, that's for the hangers. And then we need this, this is a six millimeter. This is for the brace that crosses over from the body, underbody of the car. And then this is to pull the hangers loose and then ratchet and a uh, extension. So first things first, I'll get the top, the, the uh, nuts off of the, Hopefully I won't have to lose you. Three, come off easy. Car's only got 3,000 miles on it, so pretty easy to get apart. Mike, people are saying they want to see a big on the F80. On uh, my car? Yeah. Yeah. Your exhaust. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. It sounds good. I got a lot of compliments on it when we were up in the Smokies. Matt doesn't want to hear that. Uh -uh. I think he I think he secretly misses the F80. And then when the F80, you know, he saw how good the F80 did up there. I wonder if there's any regret there at all. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, well, he does. He does like how they look, but he's always yeah. been. Oh, they sound like crap. All the suspension, right. the shifters, rubber, but they don't sound like crap anymore. Yeah. So, I like him. I like my car. background noise. Can you edit that out, Mike? Yeah. No, it's ruined. Good. Mechanic, you have, you, that'd be your perfect world. You have people doing mechanic work for you, modifying, detailing. Yeah. You just have to go out and drive. I get a driver. Oh, yeah, you get a driver next. <laughs> you just, you just, you're just along for the ride everywhere. So these were the flanges that bolted to the stock down pipe. And then we have a hanger here, which I'll pull off. I think it gets reused. I'm not sure. Yeah, maybe that one doesn't. I know these, these do, at least one of them. Then I'll have to, uh, this all stays the same because we're gonna end up cutting the rear section off of this mid pipe somewhere. One side, it's like an inch and a half from this well, the other side is six and a half inches from the well, there's a diagram. So anyway, we'll cut that, this will go away. And uh, yeah, we'll install that one. So we're using the same rear section? For now. Yeah. Matt ordered a Ramus rear section. So uh, for now we're gonna get it done so we can enjoy, he can enjoy the car and see, experience it with this rear stock rear section and then we'll install the Ramus rear section later. Resident frequency mic. Have you ever heard of that term before? Resonance frequency. Titanium, different. Yeah, it sounds too good. Yeah. Sounds too good. That one's not looking so good there. That one looks great. 
This exhaust has been off before, it looks like. Uh, we might need a gasket. I might have to run to BMW Ocala and get one. Because that's, that's going to leak, I bet you. Services, this is Donna. How may I assist you? Parts, please. BMW or Porsche? BMW. I'm going to have to take this outside, Mike. What I'm looking for is the gasket, the exhaust gasket that comes from the down pipe to the mid pipe. It's a like a tapered donut gasket. Uh, four of these in stock. Perfect. Can you set two aside for me? No Appreciate problem. it. Thank you very much. Yep. Bye. Excellent. They have two in stock. Nice, Mike. We need that, Mike. Can't be going janky with this halfway gasket. These are the exhaust donuts off the, the flange out the down pipe. So as you can see, this side, it's fine. This side is shot. So what I think is someone probably had aftermarket exhaust on this car and they've reused it already once. So we're gonna, that's why I bought and buy new ones. So rather than waste an hour and a half there and back to go by my house and pick these up at the BMW in Ocala, we're going to, I'll pick them up on the way home from work and then we'll just finish this up tomorrow. We got plenty to do anyway, doing other stuff. So new gaskets are on the way. All right, so we're on day two only because we needed new gaskets. Yeah, it was a tough project. Tough project, Mike. This is really way harder than those headers, boy. I'll tell you what. Brand new, fresh ones. We don't want exhaust leaks. Don't want Matt breathing carbon monoxides. All right, here we go. Transfer that hanger over. I take care of business, Mike. That's it. That's all that matters. A little bit of this. Makes it pop on a little easier. Just a little. It's not Let's <laughs> see really up close there, Mike. There we go. Just a little. That's all we need, Mike. Okay. Taking the GT4 out. Alright, Chris. One one last hot lap. <laughs> Don't tell anybody. If you can fit in there. <laughs> Have you sat in that car before? Uh no. That has a lot of leg room actually. Well the seat looks like. It's pretty far back because Matt was probably sitting in it, so. Uh-huh. I think you should rock one of those, Chris. I could see Chris. I could see Chris in a GT4. <laughs> it's not good. Well, put the seat back all the way. You need the seat back much further. Your headroom looks good. Yeah, good. Lord. <laughs> what are you going on, Chris? You need you need help. We have a come along if you need help getting out. Oh man. Uh, <laughs> it is comfortable, Chris. It's for racing. All the racing Matt does. It's got nothing on the Lexus, Chris. <laughs> no, no, your Lexus might be a little bit more comfy. What are we doing here? Putting exhaust on. Chris. A new exhaust? Mm hmm. A new exhaust. This is the giveaway car. This is the moneymaker, Chris. Yeah, we'll hey, nice shirt today, Chris. This is my favorite shirt, actually. Is it? Yeah. I like the one that's the minimalist, the little. No, I take it back dialed in. I know you. I did hear that. Yeah. That my yeah. But I have like three of these. I like this. Yeah. All right. All right, Chris. All right, Chris. Good talking, you, buddy. Right, good talk. Yeah. Right. Selling the GT4, Mike. I know it's gone. That's Chris. Getting, sand paper. getting some miles and stuff off of it. Yeah, I know. I drove that car up there at the mountains. Aren't you cool, Mike? Uh, I'm not cool, Mike. But I uh, was going to comment on what I thought of it. But that's. But you know what? Now, Mike, you've ruined it. Me, you've ruined it. Go away. away. You haul, haul down the hole. Down. Gosh, that's what you get for being out yeah. saying that. You're right. Uh, you were. Yeah, it was instant karma right there, baby. I wish I'd had that on film. It is. No one wants to hear it as you fall. <laughs> Jeez, loser. All right, all right, so this is going on. All right. Again, with the filming, oh, I hope the lift's on the way. Oh, yeah, we'll... it was tight when I took it off. That's yeah, nice. we're good, I think. Fancy sonicness. So yeah, 
uh, loosely fit the resonators on. Right and left. Now this here, Matt ordered, I guess somehow when he unboxed, you know, Matt's a professional unboxer, but he did somehow this piece that goes here, this brace, it's a, it's an offset brace. Somehow that ended up in the trash, it seems. So his professional unboxing just went down a little check there. You know, there's where you have to cut. So see six and a quarter off there, inch and a half off of there, right here. That is it. Cool. Oversight on my part. Yeah, what tool is this? 3 8 inch. 3 inch stubby impact gun. Would you say this is your favorite? No, not my favorite. Yeah. One of my favorite. I like them all. But this one's good. It's compact, light, you know? I don't know if that's on there, right? I have to do something with this. The clamp is not the. Uh, My own Loctite on there. Sorry, Mike. It looked a lot too close there, didn't it? So we'll use this when we go to tighten it down all the way. I'm gonna forget that. So for now, we're just gonna leave it kind of kind of loose. So I think this one might go on the other side. Yeah. No. That one goes to the head. Does it go like yeah. there? Yeah. yeah. Just like that. Like I don't know, maybe here. Oh, for double power. Yeah, for double, double resonance. <laughs> Just on one side, though. That'll be in the trash before the end of the day. Watch, Maddie won't be keeping that. Gone. Actually, probably put take this back off and put it on those because this needs to slide straight in. There's no way it's going to go in like this, same simultaneously. So I think what I'll do is this one's back up, sticking on that pipe. I think what we'll do is flip these dudes. Getting close here. Okay, so we just tighten all the hangers up. These are loosely lined up. There are four four hangers in the rear section. Tighten. So definitely a lot easier to put the resonators on. Yeah, first. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. We can get all this stuff lined up. I got to lock tight these. Once we get them where they need to go. What we're supposed to do is if we, we're supposed to have the active auto works cross brace here and then there's a little foam block as a spacer so you can dial in this height here by turning these up a little bit you would increase the height here. You can see it's just touching and we have clearance above so test I always like to do is just bang right if we, no rattles anywhere, we're not touching. But if we leave it like that, now we're hitting that. So we need that cross piece. So whenever that gets here. These bolts aren't long enough to space either. This will just leave it off for now. One last thing here we need to do is I unplug the exhaust valve, so these need to get plugged back in. And that completes the job. Did that, one. Great, Mike. that one's done. Good job, Mike. All right, so we're good. Install is complete. So I guess the thing now to do is uh, 
lower it on the ground, fire it up, see what it sounds like. Yeah, Mike. It's uh, because the EDC is unplugged. She's not happy. Uh, it's not happy, so it's not gonna let me go into M2 to open the valves. Got it. So we'll have to wait till we code out the EDC thing, and uh, reset the check engine light, and then we can. Got it. So Matt will have to take it on a drive soon after we get it coded. We've gotta get the EDC coded out of it. Um, what else? Uh, he's gonna ceramics. turn on, yes, yeah, carbon ceramics. He's gonna tune out the, let's see, uh, the sound, the, uh, what do they call it, active sound, whatever it is, and BMW calls it. And then um, the only thing he wanted to do, which he can't do, is to code out burbles. Can't code that out, he's gonna have to do a tune, which means he'll have to send the DME off, get it jailbroke, and then put it back in and do it probably a boot mod or something. Anyway, so, and then what else? What else? What's one other thing? He's gonna, oh, he's gonna turn up, the, turn up the LEDs. The headlights can be turned up. And then I think he's gonna turn the dongs off for the, for the seat belts. And, and then the warning that comes on the, the nav. I think that's it. Maybe we should do a coding video. A lot of coding. Good, good. Uh, coding, coding, huh? Not, Not coding. coding. Yeah, yeah. All right, we're good. So one more thing, check off the list. Yeah.